Roman Catholic bishops say President Obama's revised policy on contraception coverage for employees, quote, continues to involve needless government intrusion on the internal governance of religious institutions. Some among the Catholic rank and file agree. And that's tonight's Weekend Journal, the issue that threatens to alienate a key block of the president's winning 2008 coalition. I'm a Catholic first and a Democrat second. Michael Sean Winters was among the 54 percent of Catholics who voted for President Obama in 2008. But he feels the White House badly mishandled the issue of contraception coverage. You're angry. Yeah, I'm still very angry about this. I really think uh, he has imperiled his own presidency, which I think has achieved great good for the country. Winters says the debate was about the government interfering with religious freedoms. Yet for others, like Tracy Kemmerling, the real issue was about her right to health care. We don't practice any form of birth control right now and, and hope for the best. <laughs> Kemmerling is a nurse and mother of two. She's not Catholic. She would like to use birth control pills, but doesn't. The Catholic hospital where she works does not offer health insurance coverage for birth control. Paying the $30 a month out of pocket is an expense she feels her family can't afford. I feel like the choice has been taken away from me um, as, as a health care worker and um, as a woman, I should have that right. Kemmerling is relieved the cost of birth control will soon be picked up by an insurer. But Winters feels the White House overstepped its bounds with its initial policy decision, which would have forced Catholic institutions to set aside moral objections to contraception. I may disagree with my bishops profoundly, but they're my bishops. But when somebody who's not part of that family comes in and starts criticizing them, my, you know, uh, back goes up and uh, I become a bit of a stiff-necked Catholic and say, that's not your place. It's not the White House's place. Absolutely. Or, or any political leader. Don't be meddling in my church. Tracy Kemmerling says her support for the president never wavered during this debate. But Michael Sean Winter says he no longer trusts this White House and plans not to vote in November.